friends right here and today we're going to keep working on this damn pinball machine here so last week we got the power supplies mounted we got to do a little more work on the 24 volt and i want to pull it out and test everything one at a time and make sure nothing's going to explode when i plug it in and then maybe calibrate the voltages a little bit and then i want to cut something and mount the pinscape in here get it all situated and then maybe use this to find the current throughput on all my devices so I don't overload something. Um, probably an unnecessary step, but I want to do it and it shouldn't take too long. So let's get that rolling and see how far we get. Wet. Well, come here if you want to be in the video. Where are you going? Oh, come back. Say hi, Kimmy Cat. Okay. Say bye. All right, so this is about how I'm thinking of mounting them. Maybe spaced a little more evenly, but your chime or your flasher outputs are over here, so that'll go to the resistors. Um, and then we can run some fuses over here if we need to. We have another fuse board over here for our uh, high power outputs and other things. So that'll be that. So we'll put the high power rail on this side and the data rail and low power on this side. So that'll be good. So unfortunately I'm going to have to I want to use these holes to get under the cabinet if I can. And I have this mounted here wonky because um, I don't remember exactly why I did that. But anyway, so it's got to kind of come like work its way around. So I got this complicated thing. So I might go try and do this on my CNC machine real quick. Just so I don't have to mess around with a damn saw. It shouldn't take too long to cut that. So I've had some questions about the Maslow. Um, one of the things I don't like is it does this wherever you put a tab. Kind of off, off a little bit. As you can see, the outside corners are all right, some of them. But then you come up here and see it rounded off that corner, rounded off that one. It's not a sharp angle. It's not too bad. It did catch right here. I've never seen it do that before. But it like caught and kicked the sled out. 
And then one thing I don't like, it doesn't do too bad with buttonholes, but it's, you see it's got that little notch there. Some more tab issues. And then some of the bigger holes down over here. Probably. All right, fits pretty much like a glove. So let me have to turn this one like this. I don't know. Play around with it. All right, well, we got it mounted. This board is a little awkward to get the feet under there to get the holes to line up once you get everything in and tighten the bottom screws, but it's all right because it's been outmoded by this new board as of July. Anyway, so the flashers are up here. I go to here and then a couple down here these power boards these are buttons so all the buttons are down here so it'll be a short run we go over here to our power inputs and chime outputs so they'll go here or over to this side whichever way so then I got holes here to bolt this down once I get done with the main fuse wiring and such so I don't have to bend over into this damn cabinet the whole time. So let's take this out and work on it a little bit. Here we go. About to plug in the 24 volt. See if it explodes. Huh. It looks good. Nothing exploded. Let's go find the multimeter and test it out. All right, well, I had to adjust it down a little bit. It was at 24.3, but now we're, we're good. So now I'm gonna test these other ones out, and then I'm gonna put some wire clamps on and clean up some of this stuff. All right, well, we tested everything. Some amps, our blue lamp, uh, beacon, had some problems. Uh, the motor was torquing pretty hard because it had too powerful a spring, so I stretched that out a little bit. It went fine to back, it went down to where the red one was running. Uh, my fans, they blew my fuse on this, which sucks, but if I run them at five, all right, I'm not sure why. It must spike right when it starts. Gear motor, flashers, little bell that I bought off eBay, chimes, some repeating bells, contactors, another repeating bell. They were like old firehouse foam bells or something and then a big bell, which that one I'm gonna have to do something with because that's, I think that coils either had it or just too powerful for what I need it for. Then I moved over here, uh, I did a little cable management I trimmed these ones down. They were just kind of bundled up. I might should have done the same thing with these, but that's all right. It looks fine. This, this, ran these. Put one of these down on each of these to keep it from yanking the plug out. And that's about that. So I guess it ended up right there. It's almost, it's 5.30 almost. So we're going to relax and have a weekend I think not a lot of progress this week but made some so let me know what you think I did wrong and keep it real we'll see you next time thanks for watching <laughs>